You want your car repaired? Let's get this bread. That would have been funny if the mic was right there. <laughs> um, what do I want? Cookies. The biscotti. The biscotti. The latte. The brewed coffee. The coffee. Muffin, um, muffin tops. Ugh. <laughs> With your fat ass. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Student Drivers. I'm actually out here in Hood River today. Uh, we're doing a little video shoot with uh, uh, Brandon Washness. He's really awesome. Um, he is right over there in that van. He's shooting out the back of that van, which is super awesome. Uh, please check out his channel. <laughs> We'll link in the description below and I'll link it on the video too. Uh, but this is exciting. I won't vlog too much today because I'll have to do a lot of driving with him filming. So we will see you in just a bit. So guys, we made it here to Multnomah Falls. Super nice. We got the one and only Brandon, of course, working his magic. You throw your cell phone footage on vlogs. Huh? You throw cell phone clips on vlogs. Yeah, because it, nice. it does, because this is 4K60. Safety first, kids. Safety first. <laughs> Chunky with no belly. butt. All belly, no butt. Good areas though, it's like, alright, back the fuck up. Oh, uh, like, uh, like airline places? Yeah, like, do you watch that places? SVX video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I tried putting the drone like over those and in them and stuff, but like you got near them and it was like, nah. Oh, they won't let yeah, you. It was, it was really picky. Dang. I think we got, we bypassed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't have a. Uh... Okay. The fuck? I don't have a uh, vision. Oh, baby, this is gonna be nice. <laughs> around but yeah seriously guys follow follow washness media he uh is super talented uh shoots really really awesome cars it's awesome did you guys get your stimulus check yet because i didn't and I bought some more car parts anyway. It is here. I am so excited for this. Let's unbox this together, my friends. And here it is, the handy dandy samurai sword. This is the 
right side up. I should have read that before I opened this. <coughs> but, it's okay. It's not gonna blow up. Yo, this is pretty awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Check that out. That's gonna be awesome. I know it's in the packaging, but still super awesome. Little sneak peek. Oh wow. First part. <laughs> He's already done with that. Ugh. Took off the little radiator tray. And this is the ugly side of Smurf we never show. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. This is definitely not pretty. This is Alex here. We have the Evo 10 on top. We have the Evo 8 and 9 on the back. <laughs> we have, I think that's an, oh yeah, that's an Evo 5. What's that? And an Evo 3. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. We're gonna do the V-Lens today. A little Audi style headlights. So first part really is just obviously that plastic piece. I was, I hate doing that part. You have little clips that you gotta get a flat head and just pop them out. So now we're gonna get the front bumper off, which is a little bit of a pain, especially since he's very particular about his car. Nope. So we're gonna be very easy with it. So <laughs> just break we have it. all these bolts here for these brackets. One, two, three, four, five. And then you start pulling off the inner uh, fender liner here too. So. We're gonna get that knocked out and then we'll show you the rest that we're gonna do. Yeah, and we won't be too thorough because there's like 50 of these tutorials on YouTube, so we'll just do it our own way. Like yeah. somebody. Like a somebody, baby. <laughs> Perfect, just like that, bumper's off. Takes probably like five, 10 minutes. Take your time, don't break your bumper. <laughs> so now, uh, just to be able to get this off, pretty simple, bolt here. The one that got me off guard one time, bolt here as well. Um, and it should, technically just slide right out. So after that, of course, just I, a big suggestion with these, they're kind of jacked up from whenever they're manufactured. Check and make sure the lights are, are flat, like uh, adjusted properly. Um, but yeah, let's get these headlights off. Let's do it. this of course you need these adapters right here these are I don't remember what they're called actually they're made in China that's what they are um, <laughs> actually if you go on the website they'll tell you exactly what you need D2A2 that you need these um, there you go this is just an adapter just to make it work with your HIDs if you have the halogen setups or is it halogen or just yeah uh, the regular halogen setup. So if you don't have the sight and sound package with the H, uh, factory HIDs, mm -hmm. um, I bet, I, I'm sure you can, there's another way, but. Well, no, actually, if you have the factory halogens, you don't need any of this stuff. It's actually just plug and play. This is if we want to retain HIDs, which if you're going to do this and you have halogens, there's a good chance to do HIDs anyways. There you go. Um, one thing you will lose, maybe I didn't, I forgot to tell you, you're not going to have the adjustable, um, the adjustable oh, headlights. Anymore. I never, I never adjust those anyway. Um, Hence why I'm saying let's adjust the headlights before we continue um, putting the headlights in and everything like that. Absolutely. So we're just gonna throw this in here. Um, one thing that uh, it has on here that I didn't do on mine is it has a mounting bracket. I don't feel comfortable drilling into anything, so I just kind of tuck it in there. So that's what we're probably gonna do here. I got zip ties. Um, we could zip tie it, yeah, we could definitely do that. But yeah, pretty simple stuff. I mean, yeah. it's gonna look good. These um, guys look really good with that. Nice the blacked out housing. Blacked out yeah. housings with the LED styles. They're gonna look great. Yes, sir. Well, hopefully, we're gonna bust this out before, uh, before oh, it gets dark. Definitely gonna get this done. So, yeah. Stay tuned. So it looks like uh, it's almost six o'clock. We uh, forgot one thing we were looking all over for it, couldn't find it. We just need a little pigtail adapter that goes to the ballast that powers the actual headlight. So we uh, will remain, just we'll wait till okay. we, get, we will grab the, uh, the pigtail adapters, but yeah. 
All right, so we have the VLAN headlights installed on Papa Smurf. Uh, the video, we can continue the video from that day because my battery ran out and I had to grab some other parts to actually fit these on. But this is the finished product. It looks really clean, obviously blacked out housings um, from VLAN. They have that Audi style LED strip. I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the dark here. They are super bright and mind you the um, actual HID is not on those are just the LED strips that are that are on right now and at night they're super visible like you can see with just those on obviously that's not recommended but um, if you wanted to I guess you could if you ever were doing a video shoot or a photo shoot but yeah check out the, the turn signal close that's the turn signal um, but yeah they overall they're amazing I am definitely satisfied the fitment is real well on this side it's slightly kind of off from the body but that can always be readjusted so yeah I'm really satisfied with these uh, I drove around with them on um, been getting some compliments from buddies and it's definitely it makes the car look meaner you know what I mean. So anyway, I'm uh, really happy with this product.